have everyone what's up this is Celtic Fox Robert here and today I wanted to just show you a little review on a on a speaker mount that I bought for these Logitech Z640 speakers now originally they came with a subwoofer and a center channel and what had happened was that the subwoofer or the uh, control panel or the PVC board there that normally will connect all the speakers to the subwoofer and all including the uh, center channel for some reason the control board inside the subwoofer died um, all four speakers work uh, independently uh, they you know I hooked them up uh, to a 3.5 millimeter jack and they all produce sound they are 70 watts each um, is what they're rated at so they all work the issue was again like I said that the subwoofer for some reason that controls the channels uh, for the speakers for some reason just stopped working of course obviously it's been five years old so and that could be a reason why too it's over five years old so here we have this Logitech satellite speaker and we have a uh, as you can see here a mounting bracket uh, on the speaker that uh, allows you to either mount it on the wall as you can, if I can get it in frame here mount it on the wall as you see here I'm going to go this way with it there we go the camera can focus a little bit so you mount it onto the wall but as you can see when you're mounting it onto the wall the the sound isn't angled down at the person it's just angled straight across the room now if you were to take the screw off here on the back as you can see right here if you take the screw off you can change around the mount that comes with this and you can take it and turn it around you can it has little um, what I call nipples right here that hold the uh, mounting bracket in place so that it doesn't swivel on you when you're using it so obviously you just go ahead and reattach the screw like so and now the speaker can sit flush on the desk but if you're like me and you want to have a home theater system with what I'm working on doing you need another alternative than this kind of mount right here so what we did is um, I particularly did was I looked on eBay and I found some universal mounts. I'll put that over here. There we go. And so I wanted to find a way to mount this onto the wall that would allow me to have the speaker angled down towards me and so that I could get a good sound quality from it. Um, and again, using a 3.5 millimeter jack. Uh, on one end and then an RCA jack on the other end would allow these speakers to hook up to my 5 to 5 to 1 sound card that's on my uh, computer rig so what can I use that I could use to mount these on here well I went to eBay and I got let's slide this one out of the way for a minute I got a package of these speaker mounts let's see if I can get the camera to focus in here. I'm using a Logitech webcam so things are a little bit out of sync. So these speaker mounts you can buy a pack of four, pack of five, pack of two um, from various sellers online and what I did is I picked up a pack of four this is what they look like right here out of the package uh, I picked up a package of four uh, for $15.95 two-day shipping, free shipping, um, didn't cost me anything for shipping, just $15.95 uh, for a pack of four of these. Uh, they come with some mounting screws and some screws for uh, various things like anchors here and screws so if you have like a plaster type wall you can use the anchors if you're using them in another type of uh, fixture you have the straight machine screws here as well it also comes with um, a manual which is I mean it's pretty straightforward to hook up these 
speaker mounts, it lists the uh, parts that are included. It also has uh, detail, detailed instructions on uh, how to, um, to, you know, to mount this and so forth. It's really, like I said, pretty simple, straightforward. Um, spin this around. Um, let's see if we get that on the camera. Um, again, pretty straightforward on how to how to um, mount this. And again, you can see that there's uh, various options here on how to mount it. And you can pause the, the video if you want to look at those. But again, it's very easy to mount uh, and very easy to set up. So I, I, I took these and call it an investment, call it a risk, um, because I wasn't sure where the holes are here if they were going to mount up to the speaker that I have. So I'll show you that in just a moment. The other thing that I liked was this thumb screw type of uh, item here uh, instead of just a standard screw like you see here. Now, if I take my screwdriver, for example, see if I got one, I got one right here. If I take my screwdriver and remove this screw, like so, it allows me remove this real quick. This top screw here, once it's removed, it's just a very small screw, it allows the mounting bracket to easily slide out. Now the mounting bracket, as you see here, is metal. It's a solid metal piece. Uh, and the way it works is it slides right along, if you can see right here where my finger's pointing, slides right along these tracks. And the screw, when you go like this, it slides nice and easy, zero insertion, you know, slides right up nice and easy in. The screw, like I took out, holds it in place. Uh, so how it works is, is you would mount this to the wall, this in the frame here, mount this into the wall, and you simply slide this right over the top. And then, of course, naturally place the uh, small screw. I've got very large hands here. Place the screw inside the uh, opening where it was originally. Tighten the screw down like so. Like that. It will catch. Once it catches, it will pull the mounting bracket up to the very top of the of the base itself and then there you go now it's not going to come out so the other thing i liked about this was that it has a thumb screw and the thumb screw is a lot different than some of the other ones online some of the others have just a regular screw like this located over here well what i like about it is when you loosen the screw you loosen it just enough and turn it this way so you can see it has the ability to angle slightly this way angle slightly up and it also has the ability if you loosen it up enough it has the ability to rotate 180 degrees now that noise that you hear on the inside uh, is what I call the ribs or like a mesh area or ribs like in a gear that goes around this circle to keep it held in place as you can see here and it's the same for let's put this down for a minute and the same for the inside there are these ribs i don't know if you can see them on the camera or not but there's ribs right here that allow the unit to slide back and forth uh, and grip when when the um when it's in place and it's tightened down so that makes it a very nice feature so that once you have it mounted on your wall and you have it set up to the angle that you want for the speaker, you simply just tighten down the thumb screw here and there you go. You're all set. So again, looking at this mount, I said, well, I didn't know if it was going to fit like I mentioned because obviously these two holes here. So I said, hmm, I'm going to take a gamble. They're only $16 for a pair of four. 
I really need a mounting bracket for my Logitech speakers. So I'm going to take our gamble. I'm going to try it out. Well, as it turns out, taking the speaker and these little nipples right here, I found it worked quite well. Now you can see in the camera, I think I can do it here. The monitor keeps going off. Let's see here. So in the camera here, you can see the threaded part where the screw is. So I take one nipple and the threaded screw, and I line it up this way. Like I use the bottom nipple to the bottom hole. There goes my screwdriver. <laughs> so bottom nipple, bottom hole, line the two up, and then we'll do this with two hands here. This is kind of funny. The threaded area is lined up very well with the Logitech speaker. So where did I put my screwdriver? Oh, there it is on the floor. So it's going to be a little, the screw is going to be a little tight for it uh, going into the speaker mount. But once it goes through the speaker mount and catches onto the speaker, now as you can see, I don't know if you can see it here or not. Let me remove this. So I can show you a little better. Let me move this and I will show you a little bit better what we're looking at. Alright. So what you can see here is, I'll use my screwdriver to point it out, is that the nipple on the speaker fits perfectly inside this opening. The main screw, the screw that holds the speaker onto the mount, fits perfectly through the speaker mount and into the speaker. Now holding it pretty well in place. There's a little bit of wiggle room, but not much. So once you've tightened it down pretty good, then get it set the way you want. Place the half circle of the, the orb in there, if you will. Then you take the thumb screw and you put it back down, how we see here. You don't necessarily need to take the, the entire thing apart to mount the speaker onto the mount, uh, which is really nice because then you can just simply take the take the uh, take the speaker, mount it onto the mount, then slide the mount onto the bracket, and then tighten it down onto the wall from the connector screw, like I mentioned before. So now what we have. Let me adjust the speaker just slightly. Okay, like that, like that. So now what we have is when we have, I'll we'll tighten this down a little more so it's nice and tight. So what we have is you can see on the camera, now look at the speaker. So let's turn it this way a little bit. Um, let's go like this. So now you can see that the angle of the speaker is pointed more down towards either the floor or if I do want to angle it better so that I get a better angle, all I have to do is simply adjust it up, tighten the thumb screw, and now it's pointed more directly at the person. So let's move this back into frame a little bit. There we go. So you can see that now I have the option of taking the speaker, and let's say I don't want them, I'm on, the, I'm on a corner of the wall. I want to be able to angle them slightly 45 degrees towards the center of the room. Again, using the thumb screw, tightening it down. I could now mount the speaker on the wall. Mount the speaker on the wall, and I can aim it. There we go. I can now aim it towards the center of the room. Very nice um, brackets. Very sturdy. Very well built. Um, 
can handle up. At least these speakers are not more than a couple pounds. Not very much at all, really. Um, the instructions do say, and I do believe when we look up the instructions, the instructions do say that they can hold up to, let me see, look here. The weight limit is 3.5 kilogram max weight. Uh, so again, it can hold um, some speakers up to 3.5 kilograms of weight. Uh, very nice uh, indeed. So again, where is it? Okay, there we go. So again, it works out very well. So again, uh, sliding this over, uh, the weight is pointed right here. It says 3.5 kilograms max weight. Uh, so you don't want to really mount a very heavy speaker on this, um, but for satellite speakers, uh, Bose speakers, any kind of speaker that is small, um, this would work beautifully for. Um, again, very inexpensive, but very universal, um, especially for the Logitech speakers that I have. Uh, now, obviously, I removed the mesh grill from the front of the speakers because I like this look that I have of them. And here you go, here's an idea here. So again, mounting it this way, uh, say if this is the wall, again, you know, I can I can adjust it up or down, I can turn 180 degrees. Um, it gives me a lot of options on how I want to mount this to the wall. If I simply want to take it off the wall, again, I can just simply remove the screw here in the back, and then just slide the whole unit right up off and replace the speaker if I choose. Um, I have hung ceilings, so the wire that normally comes off of the speaker can go up into the wall like so, as you can see here in this video, and it wouldn't be easily seen. Uh, so that makes it great uh, for the home stereo system that I'm going to be installing. Um, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, uh, click the like button. If you don't like the video, click the dislike button. Leave me a comment. Uh, tell me what you think. Uh, if you have any other suggestions or if you'd like to see more things like this in the future, just let me know again in the comments. Uh, follow me on Facebook. Uh, you can look me up under East Coast Mods. Uh, that's our group uh, where we show PC enthusiasts who build uh, many different kinds of PCs. They change the look of their regular PC. Uh, and they do all kinds of creative ways of making things. Uh, again, this is a sort of mod, if you will, uh, using a Logitech speaker for a universal speaker mount and then mounting it to the wall. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Uh, I am at, it's called at East Coast Mods. Uh, follow me there. Give me a tweet. Give me a shout out. Uh, tell me what you think. Uh, so again, I hope you like this video. Uh, favorite if you like the favorite, like, dislike it, uh, leave a comment. Um, be great, great to hear from you guys. I got more products coming up in the future that I'm buying for the home theater PC uh, that I'm building. I'm building a DIY 82-inch diagonal movie projector screen uh, to go along the wall. I'm also going to be looking into getting a small form factor case for the H. Uh, the home theater PC uh, build, uh, so that's in the future, along with some other uh, added accessories into uh, that home theater PC. Uh, so again, thanks for watching. Um, catch you all later. Bye.